wait on other people to be what you've been called to be. You can't wait on their affirmation. So I think we're really just at the beginning of being able to realize the power of siblings within the Special Olympics movement. So being able to reach out to siblings directly with the example of Eunice Kennedy Schreiber, with our message and opportunity to promote inclusion um, and saying Special Olympics is a place for you also. Um, and here are opportunities for you to get involved. Here's a way that you can make a difference in your community and in the world. The way they relate with their siblings is different from me as a mother, the way I relate with my, with my child. For me, I might even be more protective, but then they let them grow, they let them nurture. They expose them to other youth similar to them. They are maybe expose them to the music that they like to the kind of activities, to social media, and us as parents could be limited and we might be having our own ideas, the old ideas. So the siblings are, for us, I would say, agents of change. I think siblings are really key to creating a unified generation. One really interesting and unique experience about siblings is that we've been growing up living unified within our families. We. Uh, have an opportunity to practice that at home. So siblings can be connectors between three core constituencies in Special Olympics, athletes, families, and youth. When I talked about him discovering and finding a focus and the drive, it was basically in the confinement of Special Olympics. He now takes it as a job. It's something that when he wakes up in the morning and when he's dressed and he's going out to participate in competitions, you can really see that this person is driven and geared up to make things happen. To me, the Unified Generation is a sort of a change. So inclusion that you know all of us when when you have disability there's something that you cannot do for yourself and we need people to 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 assist you. A generation where people with all different kinds of gifts, people with all different kinds of differences come together and fight the perceptions of society in order to overcome the impediments of social development. It's a great platform for, for our siblings to show more of their talent, more of what they can do than what they cannot do, so they are more influencing on what they are good at. These people with intellectual disability are part of our families, are part of our communities. They can do a lot, a lot of these things we can't even imagine. They can help in our way to success and everything. So we need to accompany them, we need to interact with them, and we need to keep them in our community.